So you might be in a situation where you're trying to go ahead and downgrade your Google Pixel phone's Android version. Now, I'll show you exactly how to do this, but keep in mind, this is going to be a little bit of a process. You will have to have a PC of some sort, so keep that in mind, and you will probably have to use some sort of web browser. So there's a tool called the Android Flash tool, which is really cool. It doesn't really require any crazy downloading of anything. You just need to have your web browser of some sort. So have a web browser, have a PC, and have your phone with a USB cable that connects to your PC. Now on your Android phone, your Google Pixel, go inside of your settings application. You wanna click onto about phone, and you wanna tap the build number multiple times on the display until it says that you are now a developer. Then you wanna go into your settings application again, go into system, and then go into your developer options. And what you wanna do is toggle on USB debugging and OEM unlocking. So toggle on those particular things from that standpoint. Then what you wanna do is you want to unlock the bootloader. So go ahead and connect your phone to your computer. You want to go onto the Android Flash Tool website in your compatible internet browser, which that will also be linked down. It'll be the first link down in the description. Go ahead and make your way over into that website. And then you want to follow the on-screen instructions to basically unlock your device's bootloader. This is going to be a very important step because you'll have to unlock the bootloader before going through and continuing on. Then what you can do is once your device is recognized by the tool, you will see a list of different Android versions that are available for your Google Pixel. You want to select the version that you basically want to downgrade to. So find that you know, option that you want to downgrade to, you'll be able to find it there. And then you'll be able to flash the option and flash that firmware. So go ahead and allow it to download that firmware and install it right onto your device and let it sit there for a little bit of time and do not unplug it until it's fully done, right? The last thing you wanna do is unplug your phone then because then it's going to definitely cause some problems. So go through, make sure your phone is completely plugged in and then after a certain period of time, your phone will restart and then you'll be prompted back into your Android version that you had before and that's basically that. And you'll be able to use your phone as you normally would. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.